Hello out there. Before I get started in this video, I want to give a well, mild spoiler alert. Um, in this review, I make several accusations and question this figure's authenticity. Um, because I legitimately was not sure whether it was a knockoff or not. So, after shooting this, I went online and looked up other people's reviews of the figure and found that, yes, this is indeed the real deal. So, um... You can ignore any accusations I make of this thing not being a real figure because um, it is indeed the real figure. Of course, I've probably already set the tone for how this review is going to go, so here we are. Hello out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 um, and after the disappointment that was the Legacy RC, I actually just uh, had a pent up need to, to show true a true homage to the actual uh, thing, you know, like the the best version of RC that Hasbro could make. Uh, so I went on eBay because there are no Walmarts where I live, and I got myself the Red RC. Red, of course, standing for Robot Enhanced Design. This is indeed the RC that cannot transform. Uh, just like the Action Masters of the 90s, she sacrifices her ability to turn into a car, into a vehicle, uh, in her case a motorcycle, so that she can instead have the best possible version of the robot mode that they could make. Uh, so this, as much as possible, is recapturing her original model from the show with all of its details as intact as they could. Um, and I have the box tilted slightly to the side because when it faces directly at the camera, it catches the reflection of the ring light. Um, now, since I ordered this from eBay, it was supposed to be a new item, but they went ahead and shipped it to me in a bubble mailer instead of a proper box, so the darn thing got squished on the way over here. I mean, I wasn't getting this for a mint in box collection, but you can bet that they're getting some negative feedback for this. Uh, but I digress. The box art features a really cool picture of Prime RC with her weapons out. And, uh, they seem to have some kind of effect where, like, the paint is flaking away from her? Like, what happened? Did she just get Thanos snapped or something? Uh, the back of the box showcases RC, um, with her weapons fully equipped, showing off effects parts that she comes with. Um, I mean, the, of course, no vehicle mode because, like I said, she can't transform. Uh, and the side uh, is a nice little window so you can see all the accessories, which seems to include um, an Energon cube, although I'm not sure if it's an Energon cube because Energon was blue on Transformers Prime, not purple. Um, two guns, two alternate hands, and uh, wait a second. Are these those effect parts? Like, in the, in the pictures, they're made of translucent purple plastic. Here, they appear to be made out of just gray plastic. That's not right for an effects part. I mean, and then there are her swords. Wish that they had, like, I don't know, painted them metallic because they look a little bit dull there. But, um, enough nitpicking about the thing in the box. Let's get her out of there so we can see what she's truly like. And here we go. This is RC out of the box. Uh, now, immediately, the Two things struck me. Uh, first uh, is a thing about her look. So the sculpting is there. That is very much an RC that I would expect to see. Looking very good. They got all kinds of lines, tons of paint detailing. Nothing wrong there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, you turn around her little from the side, you can see everything is nice and sleek. She doesn't have the backpack kibble that her actual uh, old toy did. You can see her wheels are inside of her legs all the way. And um, and they did that magical resizing thing that they simply wouldn't be able to do in the real world. You can see the wheel in her back. If I'd say that there's anything wrong with this that doesn't look like her actual model from the TV show, is that I do remember in the show, you could see the handlebars from her motorcycle mode came out of her elbows, and those are not included here. Um, but yeah, aside from that, the only flaw I would say is um, her highlights. 
Uh, we all know that RC was mostly blue on the show, but she had some uh, pink highlights like on her helmet and on on like parts of her arms and stuff. But here, they're not pink. They're a deep copper color. Like, it's not a bad looking metallic color, but RC wasn't that color. This is supposed to be a metallic pink, not copper. Come on, this figure has one job. It is supposed to look as much as possible like her in-show model. It sacrifices everything for that purpose. And, you know, you kind of screwed it up. Oh, but she does have one little spot of pink, her lipstick. And I, I can't actually zoom in any farther than that. Yeah, so the figure is wearing lipstick. Um, which RC on the show did not have. So they put a pink spot where there should not have been pink and they painted the parts that should have been pink copper color. Like seriously, what the heck, man? Were you afraid that boys wouldn't buy it if it had a little bit of pink on there? Like there would be some kind of pink radiation that would come shooting off of them that would drive people away from the toy? Is that what it was? Anyway... The second thing is what I experienced once I took it out of the box. And that is, she is made out of some very soft plastic. Everywhere. All of her is soft. It's almost gummy in some places. It's so soft. And like, what is this? Like, this just kind of floats. What is that? that that's not a thing that should be happening. Like, like look at this. This figure is noodly. I feel like on a hot day, she's gonna just slump and flop over. Like, come on, like, why is she made out of this plastic? This is Hasbro. Like, RC, like, I was expecting this to be the same plastic quality as, say, a Marvel Legends figure. But this is not that. This is like the squishy plastic that they used to make weapons so kids wouldn't accidentally poke themselves. Were they afraid that RC's design was too sharp so they used this gunky plastic? Like, it's even like... Her, sh her legs, her thighs are made out of this plastic. And like, you know, that's a thigh. It's not supposed to be that soft. Like, did I get a knockoff? Is this a bootleg? Did, did I get sold a bootleg? Anyone else who has this toy, let me know because this feels really cheesy. Like, I didn't buy a real one. Um, that's, that's really strange that this thing is so gummy. Uh, so, yeah, like, the whole thing about this is that it's an RC action figure, so one thing an action figure has to be is posable. So, let's see how this works. Uh, we got us a ball-jointed head. It can swivel. It can look up and down. I feel like there's also a little bit of wiggle at the base of the neck. Uh, her shoulders are really good. Like, they have a butterfly connection that allows them to go forward and backwards, and a pin disc that allows them to go out. Although, like, given the shape of the shoulder, they go out in a T pose, but, like, if you raise her arm forward and then try to make it go out, it doesn't. Although, like, I think because she has a bicep swivel, you can still manage to get her hand in front of her with her arm up, so that's all good. She has an elbow joint with an aforementioned bicep swivel, although the elbow only seems to get to 90 degrees. Uh, she has a pin disc at the wrist, which can bend. Although, what's up with her hands? They're sculpted with trigger fingers, despite the fact that she does not come with any accessories that she can hold, like a gun. Uh, she has an ab crunch, although it's really better at arching backwards than it is arching forwards. Uh, a waist swivel that's, under, that's underneath that. Uh, apparently ball jointed hips. They can't get a full split going on, but they do have a decent amount of range. Uh, both forwards and backwards. She has a 90 degree knee bend and a knee swivel and uh, she has a rotation joint at her toe and it can go up and down. So art articulation wise she's not terrible. She is actually pretty nice and poseable and it's effortless to get her into a nice stance. The figure is well balanced and it is not top heavy at all. I just wish that it was made out of better quality plastic because look at this. This is, 
Like, that's off-putting. Like, she is so soft. It's like they wanted to make an RC bendy, and at the last minute decided to give it proper joints, but they didn't change the kind of plastic that it was made out of. That's just, that's just strange to me. All right, so let's get out RC's accessories. Up first is this Energon cube. It doesn't have any kind of peg holes or anything. It's just a block. Mm -hmm. uh, then she has a gun. Pretty plain little gun. The, the details are picked out, so it doesn't look too plain. And it does have a pin disc at the base, similar to her wrists. And, uh, of course, there are two of them. I should bring that up. And then she has her forearm blades, which are actually smaller than what came with the original deluxe toy. Or I should say the, the warrior class toy, because it was a, a toy, it was a, a, a cartoon toy line, not the main toy line. And yes, these are the effects parts made out of dull gray plastic. This is convincing me that I must have been scammed on eBay and sold a knockoff, because why is this made out of dull gray plastic instead of translucent? I, I'm pr and then and then she comes with alternate hands that are fists. So let's see how the uh, thing works. Okay, that pops right off, and then this should go right in. Okay, okay. at least her hand swapping gimmick is good, and the fists look a lot better in there than trigger fingers that, that go on a non-existent gun. Uh, and now let's put her weapon in place. I believe this should be how it goes. Oh, look at that. You can actually kind of see how her um, it's been molded to look like it's part of her hand. Although, um, it's a little bit limp in there. I feel like this should be a tighter connection. And why is the wrist still there? That's weird. That's, that's unnecessary and it makes the whole thing look off. This this did not have to preserve wrist articulation. This should have just been something that goes in nice and securely. Um, yeah, like, I'm I'm almost certain at this point that I bought a knockoff. You guys are going to tell me I bought a knockoff, right? Um, and her last accessory is, of course, going to be these swords, which should go into her forearm thusly. Yep, they peg into place pretty effectively. Uh, looking good, looking more or less proportional like how they were on the show. Even, although, since they're just one lump of unpainted gray plastic, it looks kind of uh, looks kind of dull there. Like they could have silverized it, and I'm pretty sure at least some of her blue was supposed to be on there as well. So let's get the let's get the wobbly gun out of there and put the other fist in. So, yep, there's that. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that looks pretty effective. That looks like her weapons from the show. I mean, I just wish that they were, you know, a little shinier, more metallic looking. Like, they, they got the metallic copper, they couldn't get some metallic silver. Like, uh, you know. And then this thing apparently just kind of goes on to here. Yeah, I guess that's how that's supposed to look. Um, yeah. All right, let's do some comparison. So here is Red RC standing next to her first edition counterpart, as well as the RID Prime RC. And we can see where everybody made their various compromises for the design. Um, First of all, yes, you are going to notice that my RC is not stock because I did do some painting, particularly on her forearms. But her head is completely stock and I did no modifications to that. And I'm not sure how good it's coming out in the camera, but um, the metallic paint detailings on her highlights do have just a bit of pink in there. Um, it's also noticeable down here on her shins. You can see that there's just a bit of pink in that, in that metallic to capture the look that it had on the show. Um, like here, like it's a much more vibrant highlight, but it's a highlight of the wrong color. Not to mention, like I said, the lipstick is off-putting. 
Although I do love those painted eyes. It looks a lot better than the light piped eyes. I mean, like, if I had a, a strong light behind her head, then to bring out the light piping, it would look good. But otherwise, her eyes just look dark. And then, of course, there's this one, which is noticeably shorter. And um, her, her metallic highlights were all just silver. They did not put any pink in this figure. Um, and then, of course, we remember, like, the first edition one looked pretty darn good. It's probably, it's still probably one of the better motorcycle transformers ever made, but it's not completely without flaws. Uh, for example, uh, the wings that go onto RC's back are instead on her shoulders on this one, and they really couldn't figure out anything to do with her, her windshield, so it's just kind of up there on her back. Um, and of course, the wheel is in the right place, but because this is the real world and it can't shrink to half its size. Um, it just kind of sits there. It's in the right place, it's just not the right size anymore. And um, if you look, you can see that the design is actually, you know, like, you can see like the kibbles on, those two wing things are on her back and the, and the thing. And that's actually, that's actually funny because that's exactly what the, uh, the, the RID version of the mold did. It put the wings in the right place. It's just that because everything folds back even more, it comes out even more. Like this one had a more sightly backpack, but it's huge compared to this one where the backpack doesn't quite match where things are supposed to go in the show, but you know, like it did manage to get things more compact. So, you know, like sa sacrificing transformation entirely is what this, this did. And, um, oh, some people, um, just in case anyone's wondering if I'm just going to be randomly hating on the newer one, like, I'm going to say I don't 100% hate the g one RC. Like, the fact that this is not an actual accurate representation of Prime RC, in fact, that makes me wonder, is that why they chose to make her into an R.E.D. figure? Because they knew that they'd be making a G-Wanified toy of her, so to keep the fanboys happy, they would make a fully accurate version of her robot mode? Is that what they had think? Is that what they were thinking? Uh, but I digress. Um, I do like that you can alter the shape of her kibble. I also put her weapons back there. That, like, uh, you can alter the shape of the kibble so that you don't have a wheel hanging down like, like the other versions of her do. Um, I appreciate that fact. I like the head sculpt. I like that it's basically G1 RC's face, but wearing Prime RC's helmet. That is a clever trick. I do like that. Um, and I'm not going to hate on the thing for, like, it not being, like, a skinny, slender supermodel body. Like, a blockier, more G1 aesthetic still works for her. She does look more or less like... If, if she doesn't look like um, like the G1 RC, which is physically impossible in cartoon form, she at least reminds me of the female Autobots, like um, like Greenlight and Lancer from the from the actual episodes of the show. Um, but like I said, like the biggest flaws of this version of RC is like the incredibly unattractive way that they put her wheels just on the sides of her calves like that, and how from behind the figure looks so hollow and spindly. Like you can see Robo Skeleton going through her sh her her shin armor. Like um, she literally just got like something shaved the back, and you can see the the pistons in there. Like that almost looks like robot gore. And of course, up here on her back, like if not for this thing, like she like she's very she's very hollow looking back there. Is what I'm trying to say. Like I said, a hero factory figure. Like from the front, it looks cool, but from the back, all you see is Robo Skeleton. So that's the comparison between all the RCs, um, and uh, that's my review of this figure. Like, like I said, if I bought a knockoff and that's why her plastic quality seems so poor, um, then that's on me. But if Hasbro genuinely made um, an R.E.D. figure of R.C. and chose to make it out of this gummy-ass plastic that makes the figure feel so cheap and and limp, like, like, come on, Hasbro, you do the, you do the Marvel superheroes. You are the action figure guys. I shouldn't, you, like, you shouldn't be producing a figure that feels this gummy. So, 
Um, yeah, if this is a knockoff, fair enough. If, I, if this actually is what RC's RED figure is like, then I would say skip it based on that ground. Like, because the reason this is a non-transforming toy is because this is something for the collectors who want a super accurate robot mode of RC sacrificing transformation for it. But if it's gonna be made out of this gummy, soft, crappy feeling plastic, that's not what collectors want. So, yeah, that, that, that's like terrible plastic quality. I do not like the plastic this is made out of. So that's my verdict. Wake Angel 2001, signing off.